The deep, dark waters of the North Pacific. Down here, 600 feet below the surface, life moves at a different pace. And this is where our story begins with Peter, a canary rockfish. Now, Peter isn't just any fish. He's a veteran of the deep. At 75 years old, his brilliant orange and yellow scales have seen more seasons than most creatures on this planet. He spends his days chilling in the rocky crevices of an underwater mountain, a place he calls home. This morning, like most mornings, starts slow. Peter wakes from a state of semi-rest, his big buggy eyes adjusting to the dim light filtering from above. Breakfast is on his mind. His stomach rumbles for some delicious krill or maybe a small unsuspecting herring. He drifts out from his rocky alcove, joining the slow motion ballet of the deep sea. All around him, fellow rockfish hang suspended in the water column, a silent, colorful community. Peter spots a shimmering cloud in the distance. Krill, thousands of them dancing in the current. He angles his body, preparing for a leisurely meal. But just as he moves in, a shadow falls over him. A huge dark shape eclipses the faint light from above. Peter's heart, if he had one like ours, would be pounding. He freezes, it's a lingcod, a torpedo-shaped predator with a mouth full of needle-sharp teeth. And it's looking right at him. Time slows down, the lingcod lunges. This is it. Decades of survival instincts kick in. Peter doesn't swim, he explodes. With a powerful flick of his tail, he darts sideways, aiming for the one thing that can save him, the jagged labyrinthine rocks of his home. The lingcod is fast its massive jaw snapping shut just inches from his tail fin. Peter feels the water pressure change as the predator misses. He doesn't look back. He zigzags through the sharp volcanic rock, scraping his scales, the thrill of the chase sending a jolt through his ancient body. He wedges himself deep into a narrow crack, a space too tight for the lingcod to follow. He can hear it, frustrated bumping against the outside of his sanctuary before finally giving up and melting back into the gloom. Peter stays perfectly still, his gills working overtime. He survived again. As the adrenaline fades, Peter peeks out. The coast is clear. The krill cloud is gone, scattered by the chaos. Breakfast will have to wait, but that's okay. In the deep, survival is the main course. And Peter, the 75-year-old canary rockfish, is a master chef. He settles back into his crevice, a silent, vibrant king in his rocky castle, ready to wait for another day, another meal, and whatever else the deep decides to throw at him.